First thing I want to do is go and see if there are any new adventures we can pick up. There's a Crusader and a Jester, and I think we will have both of them. Let's have a quick look at them first. They're alright, so we'll have him. Put him at the front, and... Nervous... Uh, okay, so he's good at the whale. Um, let's... He's good at the first three, he likes to attack in the middle set, so let's put him... let's put him there. Okay, so, oh and hello Shizzy. So we have a few new bits and places open. We have the tavern, which is good for stress wreath. We have a bar, we have a gambling hall, which we can't use because the caretaker is currently using during that one, and a brothel. And all buildings can be upgraded using heirlooms. So um, for two portraits and two crests, we can increase stress recovery uh, on all th three of them. And that opens up the next bonus. Let's do that. And might as well do that one while we're at it. There we go. Okay, and this will reduce treatment costs, which I won't do just yet because we've got a bit of money. So. Reynold, Dismas, and Morbene could all use some stress relief. Can't put him in either one of those, do you see? But Dismas can go into the bar. And Morbene, yep, will go into the brothel there. So that will cost me 2,500, but that will reduce their stress, which makes them more useful in the next uh, next round. Right. Okay, so fortunately we still have four people left. And the Abbey. Um, it's another place that reduces stress, but we does it in different ways. Meditation, prayer, or flagellation. Okay, right. So. Everyone seems to be alright. Are you, are you happy with this game? Do you want me to carry on? How is everyone? Having a good week? Um, got my new desktop finally. Uh, totally obsessed with it because the tower is bubblegum pink. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, we're, okay, I'm not going to hang around too much because it's a bit boring. I'm going to start the next adventure, but if you guys could tell me how you're doing, I would have really appreciate seeing it. Okay, so the ruins have now increased to level 1, and we have four potential adventures. We have a short one, um, another short one, but uh, this one is explore 90% of rooms, this one is 100% of room battles. We have a medium-sized one, and a medium-sized one of that as well, but I think what we'll do is we'll do the exploration one. Yeah, let's do the exploration one. And as we only have four people, let's take those four people. <laughs> no, I suppose you haven't, Shizzy. Okay. Another short adventurer, so... And 11, 12, let's have some lights, let's do, do 6, um, that way we're saving ourselves 150, and we'll have, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. uh, one of those, one of those, and one of those this time round, actually let's have a second bandage just in case, let's make a start. Eventually you'll get enough people that you don't have to take people in again and again and again, but uh, at the start You're pretty much risking death So right 
Explore 90% of rooms. So if we ignore this room and just go around like that, so that'll probably do the trick. So let's do that. I can D&D one really all might and magic. Yeah, it's an element of that. Um, if Dungeons and Dragons was to meet uh, um, Call of Cthulhu, I'd say that'd probably be fairly close. Didn't take any shovels. Oh, I'm so stupid. Right. These guys are going to take a ton of stress and damage because I forgot to take some shovels and I had to claw through with my hand. That was stupid of me. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Okay. Let's move on. Oh dear. Okay, right. His stress has got to 100. That means that he's gained the paranoia trait. Okay, and paranoia is really, really annoying. Okay, paranoid people are going to be convinced that everyone else is out to get them. And his... his uh, what he's going to say and his actions are going to make everyone else more stressed. So this is not going to be a fun run at all. Oh, let's light up a little bit. Alright, so. Let's see how we go. Uh, plus stress. Don't want plus stress. Let's light up a little bit more. There we go. Right. Eat. There we go. Hey, we're almost talking to your mum. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, a bit late. Uh, uh, it can still be paranoia, and people are out to get you. So we got a slice off. We got a dirk stab, and a harvest. Harvest will attack the two middle ones with bleed, and I think that's actually a good one to go with. Uh, there we go. No, we didn't get into the bleed. That's annoying. Uh, oh, that was a lot of stress. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, critical. Not good. Not good at all. Right. Let's see if we can start harvesting, you know, getting these people down a bit. So, if we do a zealous accusation, we'll really hurt both of them. But if we smite this guy, we've got a good chance of killing him. Just like that. That's good. Okay, and I think that she needs to do a heal, and everybody could use a bit of healing. But I think our jester friend here needs it more than everyone else. There we go. And that's the unfortunate effect of stumbling the guy and pushing him back, which is not exactly what we want here. But still. Alright, we'll try again. We'll smite Arbalest. Because that's really going to weaken him. Uh, actually, it's going to weaken him to the point of death, which is not bad at all. Knife in the dark. Crit, just what we need. More stress. Okay. And... Alright, this guy doesn't actually have the heal everyone, so let's go for some offensive stuff, shall we? Uh, that's need light. Hopefully we'll stun. It's stunned. Excellent. Oh, that's nice. They shuffled them back for me. How nice. It's over for us. Over! Alright. One thing in this game that actually gets quite annoying is the pause while they stop and talk. But it's a very important reason. We need to understand why they're talking. Oh, nearly got him. We'll get him this turn, hopefully. Uh, that's actually... That's... No. There we go. And... Okay, Dirk Stab is interesting. If I use it, what will happen is we'll do the damage, but he will jump forward to the front rank. Like that. 
not exactly what I want, but it's not at the end of the world. Let's see if we can kill him. Nope, not quite. Okay, that's... That'll do it. Okay, so we get some money, some bandages, and a ruby. And that ruby is good. So let's move him back. And look, this is one of the things that's annoying, okay? Because this guy is paranoid, it's hard for me to move him in the ranks. So we'll stick that key in the heirloom chest. Which unlocks a hidden apartment, which gives us some uh, better rewards. Alright, let's torch up. And let's move on. So we're going to have a fight just outside this door. Let's go and see what happens. And they're surprised. And I've noticed, I've just noticed this, they're all wearing Lincoln Green. Hey hey. Alright, let's see if we can get these little guys bleeding. That'll do nicely. And let's just go for the front guy here. See if we can get him dead. Uh, that's not too bad. And with you. Nope, he dodged. I blame the government. Nobody asked for a coalition. Well, three months time, we have a chance to say, "Here, yeah, I didn't want that." And there, okay. This blanket fire can be really quite horrible, so it's in our interest to get these guys dead and fast. So. What we can do here. I think we need to do a bit. Start doing a bit of healing. So let's start trotting that out a little bit. And right, those guys are bleeding. Let's see if we can slice it off. Oh, so close! But he'll die when he tries. He tries to do an action now. Well, if you were sitting in this place, would you look merry? I mean, let's be honest here. Oh, you should have killed him. You did kill him, jolly good. <laughs> yes, I, I think that's the problem, is the, the governments don't listen to you. The government should listen to you. Um, that would that would that's what the government should do really. It should listen to you. Not anyone else, just you. And then we can blame you. Oh dear, everybody is about to strap, snap through stress here. This is not good. Alright, a bit more healing on the Jester. Uh, we're still not doing too bad. This is going to hurt. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying about their Dragon Wolf. One of the things that annoys me is people that say, uh, just send a standard message. Will you add me onto your contact list? No, I won't, because I don't know who you are. If you are one of my followers and you want me to add you on Skype, please just tell me who you are so I have an idea. I'm not saying I will add you, but you're more likely to get added if you do that. So let's see if we can get this Fusilier. We got this Fusilier. That's nice. These guys are well over the top in terms of stress, but that's not to be surprised. Uh, okay, and let's see if we can get this guy sorted out. Um... Yeah, I don't actually. I think I'm just gonna have to get you to lunge forward, aren't I? Yeah. Right. Ouch. Oh dear. The masochistic means he's gonna hurt himself from time to time. And there they go, they've all gone over the edge. However, this uh, well, this one is 
Stalwart, which has the uh, a bonus of improving people's morale. Okay, step forward. And... No. Just step back. There we go. Right. Right. Let's just see if we can get this guy killed. Nice stun. That'll help. And there we go. That's killed him off. Uh, okay. The, 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 the people's neuroses are going to cause us all sorts of trouble now. And in fact, all it's going to make combat a lot harder. Uh, which is a, a, it's basically it's just a slippery slope. Do we have any keys? No, we'll ignore that chest then. And let's light up a torch before we go in there. Uh, let's have another one. Let's get the up. Uh, oh, it's because he's paranoid. Right. He's paranoid, so he doesn't want to accept instructions, which is great, isn't it? Right, let's see what the scout gives us. Two fights. Hmm. Okay, how do we do this? Are we going to fight for, for more fights? I think we are. I think we'll be all right. Let's go and give this a try. Okay, that's not a good fight for us, but uh, we'll we'll survive. I think, or not, one or the other. Okay. Uh, yeah, skeletons aren't very good for the jester because he does bleeding skills and they don't bleed very well for some strange reason. I've no real idea why. Uh, see if we can get him down a bit. Yep, down to one hit point. That's not bad. I think there's actually a fairly good chance that we will lose some people in this particular run, which is annoying. But it's not the end of the world. Okay. Uh, smite. Smite will do 6 to 12. We might actually kill him. We didn't. We did the minimum damage. That's nice. But this guy has Zealous Accusation, which will kill both of them. Might actually kill both of them, but not... Yes, the RNG does not like me this round. Uh, and this guy is now at death's door, which means every time he gets hit now, there's a percentage chance he will die. Okay, let's see what we can do with these guys. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's try if we can get one killed. No, he dodged. Of course he dodged. That's better. Right. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get some healing done. Uh, Alright, let's heal him so he's not in death door. And these guys are messing around now because they're stupid. Of course. Uh, they're all snapping, basically. Yeah, the death, death apparently likes a nice bottle of wine, from what I've heard. Helium Harp. And... Okay... And let's see if we can get one of these dead. We got one of those dead. Oh. This is not boding very well, but at least we're actually making a start here. Alright, Dirk Stab, run to the front. Uh. Oh no, crit. That's not good. Alright. Let's see if we get this finished. Nine, so ninety percent of nine is eight point one. So we're actually going to have to do 
two more rooms. So this one and one of these. Uh, sorry, this one and two of these. Okay, that's not good. Right, actually, let's just see if we can get this guy dead. We got that guy dead. <sighs> so, money, a speed stone, and a skeleton key. Let's take all of those. And let's have a quick look at everyone here. So, he's got speed of four, speed of two, speed of zero speed of three so let's give that to him and that'll speed him up a touch there we go speed goes up to one which gives him a better chance of acting earlier in the combat all right let's reshuffle him to the back and think can we go on we've got eight food let's try using some of this to heal these guys up so we'll give him four And that's healed him up a tiny bit. And let's give him four. That's healed him up a tiny bit. We've got no food now, which is a bit bad. Hmm. Oh, let's plug on and see how far we get. Alchemy table. No, almost blighted him. How nice. Okay. Light up. Okay, that's got us a lighting high. Uh, I don't think this is going to go well, but let's try this fight anyway. Hey, spiders! Yay! Okay. All right, let's get some peeling done. Towards the end of the fight, the, the, the end of a battle, the Vestal tends to just, just do healing, to be totally honest with you. Right, these ones slow and stress. These guys blight and stress. They're a really nice combination, but they don't actually have much in the way of hit points. So let's see if we can take them out as fast as possible. Uh, uh, yeah. Jester's leaping into the front because he's masochistic. Feel the food coma trying to take over. Yes, it, it took me over about ten years ago, and I've never looked back. Oh no, blighted. Not good. Alright. Okay. Holy Lance. I'm going to help move him forward. The dodge, that's annoying. Alright. Yeah, well, I think we're going to win this fight, but we're not going to win the next one. Okay, so, right, so this accusation does a lot of damage, but not enough. Right, let's do some damage and also heal up at the same time. She dodged, how useful. Right, let's just, just try to get these guys out as quickly as possible now, because I don't think we have much of a chance anymore. <laughs> Okay, and we've just got one guy left who's got one point of damage left. Let's see if we can kill him. We killed him. Excellent. Nice amount of gold, a shovel which we could have used earlier, and some medicinal herbs which I don't think we need. Okay, so let's get these guys reorganized. Uh, chances of us actually uh, winning now is slim, but let's... Let's have a look at the map. That room is empty and there's no fights in between. So let's get over there and then we can decide. Okay. Sarming traps. We found a trap. And... See if we can disarm it. No, he set it off. You clever boy, you. You clever, clever boy. You've put yourself at death's door. And people are snapping a bit. And the map is going to be useful. Let's see what it tells us. Okay, so there is a fight here. You see this red cross in this corridor. 
but we can do this room and this room without any fights because they're empty so we can actually do this I think we just need to be very careful so what we'll do is we'll go into this room it's, it'll let us because people's um, mental afflictions now are slowing us down and then I'm going to go back and do this room rather than go into this room because there's a fight in the way so hopefully there's a small chance that a fight will pop up in a corridor if you take it a second time but we're uh, if we're lucky it will not happen to us go and push me get that use that last torch light things up a little bit This is walking backwards is a bad idea because it gets April extra stressful. Come on, let me do it. Okay. All right, as you know, it's the jester just decided to dive in there. Who wasn't the person I wanted to do that, so that's uh, a bit bad. And uh, sets off the trap rather than disarming it, because hey, that's what you do when you set a trap, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can get into this room. If we can, we're probably going to win this um, this particular quest. All right, let's have this torch. Okay, cool. Found a bit of onyx as well. Let's use the torch. That gives us a bit more illumination. Makes people a bit happier. There we go. And we have done this particular quest, so we can step out. Hello, Andy. Alright. So, that particular run, we got 3,000 gold, two busts, two crests. Got 4,650 in treasure and some busts, a portrait, some scrolls. Uh, sorry, it's deeds, isn't it? And some whatever they're called. Uh, crests. Uh, it's collected heirlooms, which is not too bad. And this Reynold has gained Plutomania, he's manic for money. And Buznaz has gained Compulsive, which is not good. So return to town. <laughs>